Top 10 reasons why airplanes crash. If you are afraid of flying, do not watch this video. Coming in at number 10 is a runway excursion or departure from the runway on takeoff or landing. So an example of this would be if somebody's landing and another plane is in the way and they have to veer off the runway to avoid a collision. Number nine is a ground collision. So this is a collision when it is not involved with takeoff or landing. So an example of this would be an airplane taxiing on the taxiway and running into a hangar or a car or another aircraft that is on the taxiway. Coming in at number eight, we have collision with obstacles during takeoff, landing, or flight. So this would be running into something like a tree, a wire, or a building in the air, not on the ground. Number seven is controlled flight into terrain, also known as sea fit. So this would be when the aircraft does not lose control at any point, but just continues flying. So maybe the pilots are distracted or maybe they're in the clouds and don't realize it and they fly right into terrain. So an example of that would be, say, they are unaware of a mountain in their flight path and they just fly right into a mountain at night because they don't see it. Number six is a system malfunction that is non-power plant or basically does not have to do with the engine failing. So if you remember back to the Boeing that had a failure with the the autopilot trim system that caused the plane to lose control. That would be an example of a system malfunction that is not the engine causing the aircraft to lose control. Number five is fuel related occurrences. So this is going to be fuel starvation, not having enough fuel. It could also be taking the wrong type of fuel or it could be induction icing where the carburetor gets icing and causes uh, fuel starvation. And number four, abnormal runway contact. This is going to be things such as a gear up landing. So when the pilots forget or are unable to extend the gear on a retractable gear aircraft, this could also be a very hard landing where there's damage to the aircraft or where even the tail is hit upon landing. Number three is one of the ones that people probably would have guessed is number one which is an engine failure. Uh, this could happen for a variety of reasons. It doesn't necessarily mean that the plane is immediately going to crash. A plane can glide for quite a while if they have enough altitude without an engine, but system malfunctions for the power plant are number three. Number two is loss of control in flight. This is going to be your stalls and your spins. So if you've ever seen a video of an airplane spinning, circling down to the ground, that is what's called a spin in aviation, and that is the second highest reason or cause for for aircraft crash. And finally, our number one, the number one reason for an airplane to crash is loss of control on the ground. So this is specifically uh, before the aircraft has taken off on the runway or after it has landed. The majority are going to be upon landing and the aircraft running off the end of the runway or something like that. It could be due to ice or snow or rain on the runway. It could be a variety of reasons. But if you look especially at the airline reports, this is the most common reason for an airliner, especially to have a crash or an incident is something like running off the end or the side of a runway. It is usually not fatal, but there are instances where it has been fatal. So to summarize, the top three ways that you could die in an airplane are from a loss of control in flight, a loss of control on the ground, or from an engine failure. This video is not intended to scare you. Airplanes are still far safer than cars, but it is nice to know the facts.